so what are my plans for Memorial Weekend? Yep. Well, it's about one o'clock. We finally arrived at the put-in. Uh, we're in uh, Kellogg, Oregon, uh, just north of Elkton, where we originally planned on going. Uh, and that was due to because the, uh, the ramp there just didn't have enough water. So very low water conditions. Uh, we're gonna see what this uh, whole thing might bring us. We might end up doing a lot more portages than we thought, but hey, it's gonna be a good time either way. You know, can't beat all the sunshine. Ready to go, look at that. Get this boat off and into the water. One o'clock, we're getting on the water now. This baby's all packed up, ready to go. Look at that thing. This will be fun. Nice, beautiful, hot, sunny day. Lots of people enjoying the river. Plenty of gear, ready to go through some rapids today. We got some uh, class two and class three. Don't know if you can hear that, we're coming up on our first little rapid. I'm gonna put the camera away because this is the first time I've ever had this canoe in a rapid before. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out. So I'll let you know on the other side. Well, we made it through that rapid. And I'll tell you right now, this canoe is way too heavy to handle anything better than a mid-sized class two. So anything we come up on bigger than that next one, we're gonna definitely have to portage around. Uh, as it stood, we took in some water. Uh, waves were just coming in. It wouldn't take much to fill this canoe with water real quick and sink us. Uh, the canoe itself will float, but neutral buoyancy. You know what that means? I'm floating at water level, which, you know, to me, that's sunk. Red-headed peckers. I don't know what they are. These are duck, red head. Let's see if this thing works like an action cam if I hold it up like this. I got it in my life vest. Yeah, we'll just kind of hang her to the right, then we'll just slip her down into there to the left. It's gonna want to tilt to the left side, so make sure you still lean high to the right. Looks like there's going to be a pretty good wave right here at the bottom of this fall right here, bro. I think if I stay to the right, that's pretty bumpy over there. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh oh, uh oh, we are stuck. Okay, this is critical right here because we can flip real easy. Hmm. Try to push off the bottom. Push off the bottom? Yeah. Oh, shit, we're trying to turn sideways. Don't let it turn sideways. Push on from your right side. <sighs> Push and, and, and jump at the same time. Almost. All right, get ready. High side, lean high side. Lean to the high side. Whoa, not too much. All right, I'm gonna turn it around now, okay?
Right side. Alright, hold it right there. That's good. Go ahead and keep bailing. Well, we're paying for the late start now. It's 12, it's, we started at one o'clock, really got on the water. And currently it's five. And we are not even back to the original place we wanted to go, which really made it rough not being able to use that other boat ramp. Uh, we probably added another 10 or 15 miles at least to this day. Um, so we're gonna be lucky to get it back to Elkton to be able to find a place to stay tonight. And we'll see how it goes, could be interesting. I wish I had a GoPro because I'm about to shoot this right now in the canoe. Real narrow, real rough. Wish me luck. Back in the boat, all the water's out, all the gears restowed, and mm -hmm. take it on some water, and we'll get out of here. Hopefully, we'll make it to the camp before dark. Well, this time, we done it. Right now, we're stuck on the side of the river on some little rock bar. Gonna have to sleep on the ground next to the canoe because we sunk it, sunk it twice today, and almost two more times. And, uh, well, yeah. So while we're here, most of our gear is dry, so we're safe, don't worry, we'll be all right. But you know, I wish I had better video on this because, uh, you know, we were underwater for a lot, so I had to put the camera down, but anyway. <sighs> See what tomorrow brings. Love y'all, God bless. So here we are, day two. This is what happens when you swamp your boat twice and end up pulling into camp, like as the sun's going down. You tear your boat apart. You grab all your gear, everything you can. Just leaving everything. Still got water in the boat. And then, you go find a flat spot. It really looks more like the scene of the crime than a campsite. Just gear explosions everywhere. Clothes drying. We even had the ground dwell last night, man. Whew. No hammock camping for us. Threw tarps down, threw our gear out everywhere. Yeah, that's camping, baby. Here we are with day two. Yesterday was, uh, I got to put down as an epic failure, you know? We barely made it, I don't know how many miles yet, but uh, not near as many as we needed to. Um, so we'll see what happens today. If we can make it to Elkton, say before noon, then uh, we'll probably be able to continue on and make it through our projected path but uh if we don't and it takes longer then uh well we'll have to go to plan b don't know what plan b is yet but you know we always go on the fly i was kind of feeling like a submarine captain anyway you know 
you know, we can think on the fly real good. I've been learning how to drive my canoe underwater, you know. It's been a good trip so far. Who are you guys? What do you want? Do you want to eat me? No, we don't. We just want to take your picture. Hold on by. Who's the blue heron? That's a blue heron, in case you didn't know. They're kind of raggedy looking. Well, I guess this is the conclusion of our trip. We were able to self-rescue ourselves off of uh, the canyon that we were stuck at last night and uh, got as far as Elkton. And there's just not enough daylight left in the day to get down to where we need to get to and to get down to where our car is. So we've got somebody coming to pick us up and uh, we're gonna call it a trip. Very educational this trip, that's for sure. Uh, a lot of things to think about. A lot of things I gotta learn. And you know me, I always go through the school of hard knocks. Ain't no easy ways in my business. Mm -hmm.